Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be tackling the remainder of my clothing items or clothing related items in my KonMari decluttering series. So with that being said, today's video is going to be focusing on socks, underwear, bras, and pajamas. So real quickly, I do want to go ahead and kind of give you guys my thought process on how I will be going through and determining what to keep and what not to keep in each of these little categories. So beginning with socks, um, I kind of feel like this is going to be a really easy one. Um, I personally don't really see myself going through my sock drawer and holding each pair of socks and asking myself, like, does this spark joy? Because socks for me are really basic. They're not something I really think about. I am the queen of having miss matched socks because I do feel life is way too short to have socks that match and um, anyone who's ever worked with me in the past or even when I go to the gym or anything like that like maybe one day out of the year do I have the same like matching pair um, but for the most part I just go ahead and pick up any sock that's closest to me um, but as I'm going through them, obviously one thing that you do want to keep in mind is not necessarily does this item spark joy, but is this item in good condition? So, um, socks are definitely used and abused, so if your big toe pokes through the front of your sock or the bottom of your sock is worn through, then that would be a clear indicator that it is time to let that sock go because it has definitely served its purpose. So that's more or less the criteria that I will be going through when I am sorting through my socks and everything like that. Then moving on to the next category, which would be like underwear. That one I'm not going to like show you guys the whole decluttering process because that's just kind of like, there's there's weird people on the internet. <laughs> um, but I do want to go ahead and mention like my criteria for like how I'm going to go ahead and be sorting through everything. And for me, because I'm honestly really curious to see like how many I have because I think my drawer is overstuffed. You can barely open it. And I want to say I probably have over 300. So we're definitely going to be getting rid of some of those because one thing that I do not want to have, and I know us females especially, like I am not the only one, I know we have designated panties for certain occasions, whether it's that time of the month, whether it's your bloated pair, whether it's your granny panties, whether it's your super like sexy pair, there should be no category. You should be able to feel good in whichever one you decide to wear that day. So that's kind of like the criteria for that. There's not going to be a designated like for when I'm bloated underwear, when I'm in this mood kind of underwear. No, I want to be able to feel good no matter what I put on. So that's going to kind of be the criteria in which I judge whether or not I want to keep it. And granted, I'm sure there's some in there that like no longer fit or, you know, I put on a couple pounds recently. So, you know, it's time for those to go. And you can't have the mentality of like, oh, these don't fit like quite comfortably right now but you know I'll go to the gym and lose weight no it needs to fit now and then whenever you do shift weight you can always go out and purchase more so yeah that's how I'm gonna go ahead and judge that category next one would be bras once again that's something I have uh, a lot of definitely in excess because once again Victoria's Secret semi-annual sales always get me and they happen twice a year and I like to stock up but with that being said, I definitely have my favorite pairs and my cup size has definitely shifted around over the years and there's just some that generally do not fit me properly. And if you are constantly adjusting your bra throughout the day, you're not comfortable and that's just a nuisance. So why hang on to them? Um, so that's going to be the criteria for that. And then last but not least with pajamas. Um, that more or less I think can go ahead and be put into the same category as my clothing. I can ask myself, does this spark joy? Do I enjoy wearing it? Do I feel comfortable and relaxed from it when I am wearing my pajamas? Because obviously that's really important if you want a good night's sleep. You want to be relaxed in your pajamas. You don't want to feel like you're a stuffed sausage or they're tight or they're uncomfortable, itchy, scratchy, whatever the case may be. So yeah, I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute for a while here, but um, yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about, kind of give you my thought process as I go through everything. And for the most part, I think the rest of this video is just going to be me sorting through everything. I'll speed it up, put some cool music on, and yeah, that'll be my process. I will definitely come back at the end and let you guys know like the totals, what I got rid of, what I ended up keeping. 
Before I get this video started, I do want to take a minute to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you're really into decluttering and are enjoying these videos, please definitely give this video a thumbs up. And we definitely have a lot more decluttering to do, so if you have liked it so far, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what you are most excited to see me declutter next. And yeah, so without further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get into the video. just a quick overview of how I have everything stored. I have like my straight up bikini ones like this. I have my cheeky ones like all piled up over here. The thongs I just left like in a ball because I don't know how you fold those nicely. These are like my lacier boy short ones. Like honestly these are more like even sleep shorts. And then these are those like no show ones or the ones that are like really good for like when you're doing yoga or like working out. So those are all folded over there so this is just a quick overview of what it looks like i may go ahead and like change this but i still have way too many to sit here and like freaking fold all of them so that's honestly going to be how i keep it for now now for my bra storage i have two drawers of them because i'm kind of obsessed with the victoria's secret semi-annual sales and everything like that so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how i have it set up so as you can see, this used to be color coordinated a lot better, but then I started getting too many and I just kind of had to like squish them anywhere. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. Um, so this is the first drawer. And then you have the second drawer right here. So as you can see, I definitely have like an overflow. Um, and ideally what I would like to do is narrow this down to one one bra drawer which I know it's still like a lot some people only have like one or two and I have I think last time I counted I had like over 75 um that was like a while ago when I counted and I've definitely added more to my collection so I'm gonna go ahead and you know recount it and I'll let you guys know exactly where I started and exactly where I ended up but um a lot of these I know I have sizes in here anywhere from like an A, a B, and a C so because I've just kind of like fluctuated um in my cup size a lot and some fit better some styles fit better if you go like up a band size and down a cup side and like vice versa but a good chunk of these um are kind of ill-fitting at this point especially the ones like up here in this drawer um, I kind of had it like divided up into like these over here are all Target. I used to be obsessed with the Jillian and O'Malley uh, Target bras before I started buying my bougie and expensive Victoria's Secret bras. Um, and then I also have a lot of Victoria's Secret pink here in the back and Victoria's Secret pink honestly just does, does not fit my boobies. So most of those are going to go things that um, are worn and like the, the strap like the band you know doesn't fit me right so this is gonna be a long process just because I'm probably gonna have to try on a good chunk of them and like figure out oh does this fit me better than this one and vice versa but I'll go ahead and you know give you the starting count the final count and I'll show you what everything looks like at the end I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, overview like close up so you can see just how many I have it goes way back here that they're stuffed so that is the first drawer and then the second one here, it's more or less of the same thing where bras are just stuffed way back there on both sides. So 
this is one instance where I'm actually kind of regretting that I took them all out of the drawer because they were definitely like organized in the drawer so like I kind of knew what I had like obviously I didn't know the sizes and things like that but I feel like I should have tackled it um just by like section instead of taking them all out but I wanted to stick to the KonMari method of you know taking everything out and um you know placing it you know on the floor so you can really see what you have um so yeah this one's gonna be a very interesting one to go through i definitely do know i have a couple favorites and a couple of recent purchases that i know fit like this one right here i just purchased back in december so i know this one fits me well um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and try and make sense of this mess and then i will come back and kind of give you guys an update as to where i'm at and then while sorting through them i'm going to count them so i can let you guys know exactly how much i started out with how many i am getting rid of and i can just instantly as i'm going through just sort through the ones that i know i'm not going to keep for example um something like this right here where the strap is not adjustable from top to bottom it's only like adjustable let's say half the strap i do not like anything that is like that because i find that i always need to adjust it more than what they give me so i only like bras where you can adjust the strap the whole entire way and i only like ones that are padded so this one here it's lined but it's there's really no padding in there so it's not going to help um my little boobies look fuller than they are <laughs> so um with that being said i like it to feel like they're resting in little cloud cups like this one right here by victoria's secret is a really nice one super cushiony and really soft and i personally enjoy this one here which in case you guys are wondering it's just the very sexy push-up so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and sort through that because i do have a couple here like this one right here once again half a strap is adjustable the rest is not a another style bra that i'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of because i have just tried way too many different variations of it and they just never work for me are any of these ones that like clip in the front and then they're i'm not sure what the style is called like a racer back in the back you know when you're like um tank tops go in a little bit so you don't see the straps i just cannot wear these because they always like buckle like here in the front and then they like separate from like my skin and it just like kind of like gaps here and it just looks so ridiculous and they fit poorly and I am convinced every single time I wear like a racer back I'm convinced like my back hurts more than it like normally does on like a regular day so I just feel like this whole racer back style just does not work for me and I will just have to deal with my bra strap showing but I know I definitely have quite a few in here so I am going to go ahead and try them on again and then see if any of them at all will work for me. If not, then SOL, I'm like done on this whole racer back trend and like strapless is not an option for me ever. <laughs> so um, worst case scenario, my bra straps will just have to show when I wear tank tops sometimes and it's not the end of the world. There are more important issues going on than my bra straps. So that's that. <laughs>
Alrighty, so this is what I narrowed my bras down to. I started off with, um, I think 80, and I ended up getting rid of 45, and I'm only keeping 34. And that includes these bras you see right here, and then in this drawer down here, I do have a couple of these, um, I guess you could say like bralettes more or less, um, which, I think I might be able to squeeze into here. Um, however, though, I think what I might do is leave this drawer and move in all my like workout stuff in here later on once we declutter that section. So then I can have like my sport bras as well as these like little bralette things, and then I'll have like my shirts and pants folded KonMari style. Um, and I think everything will actually go ahead and fit that way. So I'm actually really impressed that I was able to narrow it down for the most part into one drawer like I said I am getting rid of 45 um, bras and I'm only keeping 34 so I definitely went over my half mark which I think is great um, and I know this still looks like I have well, it doesn't look like I definitely do have a lot of bras right here. Um, but like lingerie and everything to me, that's like the foundation of my day. Like if I look and feel good and my bra and underwear match, then like I'm already set up for success for the rest of the day. Um, but that's just personally how I feel. Maybe for others, you know, it's not that important, but, um, I really do enjoy, you know, my undergarments. So that's why I do have a lot. I kind of try to like color coordinate more or less um, with ones well this would be like the ones I would wear the most often because I do typically wear neutrals most often and then um, I did try to keep my colors um, kind of color coordinated there but overall I'm really happy with the way it turned out I love the way it looks and I'm glad I got everything down to about one drawer more or less I may end up squeezing those um, the what did I call them the bralettes um up top here because there is room in the back like these definitely are not fully squished to max capacity so I may go ahead and do that later on or like I said just make it my fitness drawer um when the whole series is like said and done I will do like a huge um overview of like how I'm storing everything and everything like that so some things may go ahead and change but for right now this is what I am working with and I'm pretty happy here on the sock drawer. I did not completely finish it. I did go ahead and go through and fold all the socks that I'm going to keep and everything like that with the exception of all my fuzzy socks. Those I have to go through and figure out what I want to do with. And I went ahead and decided to store them in all of these little containers that I had lying around. 
um, my house. I went ahead and I repurposed these. This was a glossy box. This right here is from Birchbox, these two sections. So with socks, you can definitely repurpose it. And this is how I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep my storage. Um, as far as like the KonMari method, I know she does not say to stack things on top of each other because you wanna be able to see Sorry, I'm like sitting down now. Um, you wanna be able to see everything you have. However, I don't feel like I really wanna dedicate a whole entire drawer to socks. And since this is a deep drawer and I can stack them, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so I can use this space for something else. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I just don't really feel like I wanna dedicate this big drawer to just socks. So that is the current sock situation. Um, I did not complete the fuzzy sock portion, but I went ahead and tackled it on a day where I had a lot of other, you know, decluttering going on. And by the end of the night, I was just tired and over it. So um, this is the real, the real deal and where I'm at. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I did, you know, complete something when I didn't. But at the end of everything, you know, when I do a grand tour, like everything will be fully complete by then just for the purpose of getting this video up. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and film this portion so you guys can see that I did complete most of my sock storage and like how I decided to go ahead and do it. 